What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Arizona Cardinals Madden 19 Rebuild Franchise. Good to be here again. I was sick over the weekend, been sick for much of this week, but feeling much better now. And that means it's time for the Cardinals to finally play for the Super Bowl. We're going to Minneapolis today to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl 43 rematch. And the Cardinals are here after two pretty convincing playoff victories. I thought it would be a little bit tougher making it to this point. However, we beat the Saints by 21. We beat Minnesota by a ton. And J.W. Unger, all the while, has been at his absolute best. Three touchdowns, no picks in the first game against the Vikings. And then he follows it up and again has no turnovers in the victory against the Saints. J-Dub has been a different quarterback here in the postseason, but now he's got to do it one more time against the Pittsburgh Steelers, who just beat Kansas City 28-10. Here was their box score. I'm not sure we checked out in the last episode. They picked off Mahomes three times. Oh, wow. These stats are not very good. He passed the ball 13 times. That's all. Overall, they don't have a ton of standouts on this team, but Davin Moss is a defensive captain at right end, 92 overall, and their best player. Obviously, we've got to protect J-Dub, and that 97 power moves does worry me. Le'Veon Roosevelt, Russell Parks, Daniel Reese, Braden Griffin. That is our matchup today for the Super Bowl, the second of the series, we're hoping. We haven't made it here in quite a long time. But before we play, we have a little work to do here. Howard Iwabima, 92 overall right now with the confidence boost. Star development, special, special talent. And he's only getting better. We're going to go run stopper. It's the scheme fit, and I really want to see that 99 block shed, but we're not getting it today. Bradley Young gets a boost too. 24 years old. I think he has a chance to be the number one receiver in the league before too long. The ratings are just out of control right now. We're going deep threat here for the Super Bowl. You never know if we're going to need the big play, but we know Young could deliver it. Center, Devin Brasile. Only gets one rating up, but it's a pretty good one. Moses Humphrey set to be a free agent, and we're going to go pass coverage with him. 77 overall and plus three zone. Craig Starks hoping for a little bit of zone, a little bit of awareness here, as he could be a future starter on this team, and we get one zone coverage. I'll take it. And the undrafted wide receiver, Lawrence Turner. Let's focus on his strengths here as an underneath possession receiver. And four ratings go up. Okay. With that, everybody, I think we are ready to get started. Here in the 2029 season, can the Arizona Cardinals bring home another Lombardi Trophy? The stage is set, everybody. Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's time for the Arizona Cardinals to get that second ring. We've been waiting a long time, and now we've made it to the playoffs four straight seasons. Finally back to the Super Bowl. Is this going to be the long-awaited win for the Arizona Cardinals? I know we haven't really been tested yet in the postseason. I'm not expecting it to go as easily today, but I also expected that against the Saints. We're really good, and I guess today we'll find out just how good we are. Here we go, everybody. The Super Bowl is underway. A rematch that has been in the making now for 20 seasons, and the Steelers will run it on first down right up the middle for a few yards. Jerome Bettis, 36 back in rotation. Nice. I do hope that retired numbers can make their way into Madden here at some point as Knicks will pick up a couple more and set up a third and four. Three receivers in the game for Pittsburgh. We're playing off here at the secondary. 
And time for Parks down the sideline. Got a step and overthrew him. Wow. They had a chance right there, that's for sure. But three and out. And the Cardinals quickly get the football in their possession. Two tight ends, two receivers, and number two hands to Jason Lemon, who can't find any room on the weak side. Everybody lines up tight on second down. We're going short with it. Not much there for Joseph Joseph. Two backs in the game, and Lemon swings out. Unger on target. That's a first down. Walker Onobon finally taken down beyond the 40. We'll go back to Jason Lemon finding some room on this one as he'll pick up around six yards. Lemon had an interesting game against the Saints, though. Really struggled early on. At the end of the day, he turned it around and finished the game pretty strong. He stuck to the running game. Now it's second down and three. Back to the air. Unger. Oh, that's intercepted. And that's going back the other way. Come on, someone catch him. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The first pick of the postseason for J-Dub. A 49-yard pick six. And the Steelers strike first. Oh, man. Well, it's already more playoff adversity than we've seen the entire way to this point. So now, down seven, we begin again. Nowhere to go for Jason Lemon. Now we bring Bradley Young in motion. And again, hands off. Nothing there for J-Dub and Jason Lemon. Uh-oh. Steelers quickly getting things to go their way. Third and 14. Got a good chunk here. That's close to a first. Come on, give it to us here. He didn't get it. How? Ollie Kitchens was right there. Challenge that. Even though it won't work. Well, at least we pinned them inside their own 15-yard line. Steelers have it now after a three-play first possession. Bosa with the pressure, and down goes Russell Parks. All defense here in the first quarter. Larson motions. Nick's in the backfield, and he'll get the call. And he did not get out of the end zone. Let's go. Trenton Borton with the safety, and it's 7-2. Every point beyond the extra point has been scored defensively. What a game. And here's the safety punt. How'd it go that far? Well, the Cardinals have it again at their own 25. And J-Dub feeling the rush of Moss. He goes down for a short loss. That's already three tackles for loss, by the way. Moss is going to be a problem. Back to the air again, that's deflected! Oh my, almost did it again. All right, this is not going well. Can we please just get open? Come on, J-Dub, gotta play smart third and long. Empty backfield, Unger, sideline, and caught by Bradley Young! Wow, they almost got their hands on that one as well. Now we're going back to the run. There's room, Jason Lemon. He picks up around 15 yards. I think this needs to be a Jason Lemon game. Going right back to number 23. He picks up the first down again. Almost into the red zone now. I think it's a third straight run. Why not stick with him? Lemon redirecting and taking down inside the 20. First red zone trip of the day for Arizona. And this is floated into double coverage and incomplete. Four receivers, a whole lot of speed on the field right now. But only 17 yards of room as Unger gets outside. Found his man and Walters is down to the one. Marquise Walters almost put us in front, but now we're knocking on the door. All right, got to finish this possession now. It is Lemon at the five, getting hit by Moss. Four tackles for loss. 
This is where you get nervous. You don't want to see J-Dub force this in the end zone. It's Unger. He fires back in the end zone. It almost got picked. Man, they have gotten their hands on almost every pass. Or they've been at least close. So we're going to hopefully get a few here, but I don't like the way our pass game is playing right now. This is definitely concerning. We'll sim a little bit now. Franklin Long, 14 yards. Pittsburgh up by two. And a first down across midfield. They have four yards to Nix, five more. And having a pretty good possession here overall, involving a lot of different players. And that is a Franklin Long touchdown drive with the extra point blocked, keeping it a one score game. So already a blocked extra point, a pick six, a safety. Pretty eventful. Yeah, three and out, two incompletions and a four yard pass. I was surprised to see them play like the numbers for Mahomes really stood out. And they don't really have a lot of high rated defensive backs. So I was like, okay, how are they doing this? I still don't know how, but they're doing it here too. And after a big penalty on Shakir Cosby, they are in scoring range again. Going up the middle, Nix with a juke, and he's got about six yards. Parks going to the middle now, and almost intercepted. Ahmad Burns was right near that one. From the 40, that's knocked away. Now Wallace gets his hands on one. And that'll set up a 57-yard field goal try. Butker, I'm not sure if he has the leg anymore because of possible regression, but he made the kick. So it is 16 to 5. Please say we're ready to respond. It's Unger opening to the middle and wide open. There is Ono Bun, and he'll drag defenders with him for a few more. Let's get more separation like that, please. Approaching the three minute mark in the first half, it's underneath again. I do want to see more of this as Young fights forward. I feel like this needs to be a catch and run and then run the ball offense today. I don't think going downfield is necessarily our best bet. Here's a handoff to the outside. Lemon trying to make a move. It does not work. All right, this defense is different than others. Lemon's tried to put a move on 54 a couple times. Has not worked. Now approaching the two-minute warning. Unger to the middle again and open. Oh, no, Bun. That takes us inside the 25. Spreading out the defense now, empty look, and a catch in traffic made by Onobon. A minute 40 left, and again on target. I'm not sure, you know, what exactly changed here with the play calling. Obviously, it's just following the game plan, but this is working out so much better. They're showing pressure here. Double A gap look. They drop out of it. It's a screen for Lemon. Blocks are there. Lemon out of bounds at the one. Now this time, can we finish the possession? Second down and goal from the one. A dive to Spurlock. That's not going to work. I keep thinking we're going to go with the toss. Now we'll try again, 22 personnel in the game, toss right, Lemon with blocking, touchdown! That's what we've been waiting for. At last, the Cardinals are in the end zone and we have a tight game here in the first half. We are not going for two, however, to make it a three point game. Just the extra point for Ryan Schroeder and that makes it 16-12. But now we see if we can keep this just a four-point game. The Steelers got a 15-yard pass to start this drive, use their first timeout. And now, here's Russell Parks to the outside between defenders. Oh, wow. We've seen some pretty incredible hits in this game. Second down and 10 inside 50 seconds. Swing right. Not much there. We should use a timeout. Or they did for us. That works. 
42 seconds on the clock as Parks airs it out and he's got his man downfield. They got behind Cosby that time and that is Juju Smith-Schuster. 30 yards, wow. Now it's looking like they're gonna get points. Clock down to 20 seconds. Again, they'll run with Nix who breaks the first tackle and the second before we finally bring him down. Oh, wait a minute. They're out of time now. What happened? Outside, flag on the play. Is this holding or is this going to be a defensive foul that won't end the half? Oh, illegal touching. Gotcha. All right, so they just mismanaged the clock terribly. I'm not sure why, but they did. So let's get into the second half. Arizona down by four. The offenses have finally started to get going, though, in this game. So it's J-Dub to the middle, and it's broken up, intended for Onoban. Griffin's been everywhere. Third and six now for Arizona. Three receivers in. Unger's got time, wants the big play, he's got it. Good hands along the boundary by Bradley Young. I believe our two biggest plays of the day have both gone to Bradley Young as this goes to Kitchens. I'll take a third and short. Feels like it's been a while. They're playing off. And we go with the draw play. Whoa! Good disengage there by the defender. Oh, man. I thought we had it. That was one heck of a play by Hickman. And now fourth down, 51-yard try, Ryan Schroeder, left hash. And the kick is through. One-point game. A good Super Bowl we have on our hands today. Russell Parks on target, and that is complete near the first down marker by Roosevelt. Goal line personnel now, and off the fake, it's intercepted! Take it! Oh my, pick six, Joey Bosa! No way! Are you kidding me? That might be play of the series right there if we win this game. Play action, pick six, Joey Bosa. That looked incredible. Usually the defensive linemen drop those. Thank you, Joey! And we got the two-point conversion to go with it. That's the kind of play I expect to happen to us, not for us. But I will certainly take it. We lead now in the Super Bowl. What a turn of events here for the Cardinals. Let's go. Green, and now Pittsburgh trails for the first time, and that is Deontay Wallace. Two receivers in for Pittsburgh, Parks, uh-oh, pressured by Iwabima, and ripped free by Shakir Cosby. Got to get 12 yards now with the pressure closing in, perfect touch, and there goes Juju! Inside the 30, looking to tie it, he does it! Touchdown Steelers! 77 yards. All right. We got one of the best games of the series right here, and what a time for it to happen. This game is now tied, but always remember in this that the Steelers do have an extra point blocked. It's always a story to track when a team misses an extra point, so... That is a, a pretty big point at this stage as the Cardinals take it back. Moss continues to make tackles at or behind the line of scrimmage. And it is second down for J-Dub. And here he is set to throw it. Floating out to the right side for Bradley Young. With a perfect ball spin at the end too. That was pretty smooth. Here's a give to Lemon. Makes a move out to the right side. Oh, good run. Get six yards. Third and four now for J-Dub. He wants the quick pass out over the middle. 
And Ollie Kitchens comes through. This is what the Super Bowl is all about right here. Lemon again. TJ Watt this time will make the play. It's young in short motion. We'll sweep this one right into Davin Moss. There is no getting away from him. A short throw won't cut it here. What does J-Dub have on third and 14? This one is hauled in by Joseph. And he is not going to get the first down. Steelers set to take over. Pittsburgh football, and they're going to run to the outside. They have not ran that successfully today. Good fill by Shakir Cosby. No gain. They'll try another one, and Nix gets some room this time, and he's going to have enough to move the chains. But he got shaken up on the play, grabbing toward his collarbone area. They just keep pounding the run on this possession. A new approach for Pittsburgh. Natil is in the game now at running back. I wonder if they'll just run again. Two tight ends on third down to me. Signals run, but it's a throw. They got me. And Parks away from pressure. It is off the mark. Barely, and he's lucky it wasn't picked. Salisbury applied the heat. Not sure I'll be simulating anymore in this game. It's just too good. Way, way too good. This is an awesome Super Bowl. 45 seconds to go now in the third quarter. And we'll try to run it with Lemon, and he'll fall forward. J-Dub, five-step, drop in a throw over the middle, right on time for McAllister. This one is going back to Lemon. He's got some room up the middle and picks up another first down. At our own 46, Unger now throwing for Lemon. He has this amazing ability to keep getting extra yards too after contact. He always falls forward. Offset eye now, it's third down. We keep it on the ground and this is a big pickup for JT King. Eight yards. Now we toss it and can't get to the outside. He's just too good. Davin Moss is incredible. This is one of the best like defensive end run stopping performances I've seen in this game as Unger settles short for four yards. But the way Moss has controlled the line of scrimmage on that side. Haven't seen that too often. Let's hope he doesn't apply any pressure on third down. Good job by Isaiah Wynn and wide open! Walker Ono Bond inside the 15 yard line. We have done a really good job in pass protection though. That's definitely helped things a lot. Now Lemon motions out. Screen, Riddle on the catch. He's chased down though in the open field. All our plays that go to Riddle don't work for some reason. We're gonna try it again. And almost the same result. This time we got five yards. Tie game, third and seven, five and change to go in the Super Bowl, everybody. Here's J-Dub, dumps it off in the flats, and Lemon, oh my! He shows off the power, he's got the first. Unreal. All right, just hand this to Lemon. Give him the football. Goal to go, here comes Young. And this one's staying in the air. Unger, end zone, got it, touchdown! Lucas McAllister gives us the lead and the Cardinals pull ahead with 4.54 left. The Steelers won this matchup back in 2009, 27-23. Now we lead 30 to 23 as the Steelers try to get this touchdown back. They have big playability. This could be a shot play right here too. I think it is. Nope, they're gonna run it. Nicks to the outside with speed, gets the first down. They're out to the 40. 
Parks with 340 left. He's going to the middle and open. Nix hangs on to it. And they're at midfield already. It's a fake on first down. Going long with this one. Juju Smith-Schuster. And with ease, Pittsburgh getting into scoring range. And the clock is no longer an issue for them. Not that it really was before, but they're making sure it's not a problem. Big day for Juju. And now 2.30 left. Parks pressured by Bosa. He's picked off. Come on, Burns. Take that one. Across the 40. And taken down. Ahmad Burns, the first round pick. Could that be the play that saves the Super Bowl? We force Parks into some really poor throws when he's under pressure. And this time we capitalize. Now all we gotta do is run this clock out. Easier said than done though, this is a good team. And here we're starting in the air actually, up top with it! Oh, oh no boy, he got it! What a throw from J-Dub, great catch by Onobun. I can't believe we tried that, but now we're in field goal range. Two score game here pretty much seals it. Toss left, here goes Lemon. Please stay in bounds. He will, but didn't get anywhere. Ball at the 28, and this is Lemon dashing to the right side and taken down by Watt. But still, we're going to be inside 50-yard range unless we throw it here inexplicably. We will keep it on the ground, and Lemon doesn't get far. But now, we can kick our field goal. The kick is good. It didn't show it there, but it's 33-23, everybody. We are so close right now. The Steelers need 10 and fast as Iwabima applies the pressure. Bosa's hurt on the play, so the clock will stop. A third and seven for Pittsburgh. They have one timeout remaining, and that is hauled in beyond the 40. It's a fake, and we got pressure. Let's go, Marcus Sullivan. Steelers backed up even further with time ticking down. We're so close, everybody. I never felt like we truly earned that first Super Bowl just because of the way it was mishandled by the AI and the weird decisions it made. Obviously, we won. I was happy about that. But we had to get back to the Super Bowl and win one more convincingly. Without the help of a terrible AI decision late. That's going long. And it's nearly picked Holiday. This time... It looks like we're going to earn this one, everybody. What a season. 25 seconds left for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fourth and 25. Season on the line. Here's Parks going deep with it. Way downfield and incomplete. He dropped it. And the Arizona Cardinals take over. And we are going to walk out of here with the Super Bowl, everybody. We have done it at last. This was the team to get it done. 33-23 is your final, and the Arizona Cardinals are champions once again. What a season, what a run for this Arizona team. This was fun to put together this team after last offseason. One of the most rewarding things about it is how I finally completed the huge trade-up. And Ahmad Burns played such a key role. He had a big interception here in the Super Bowl. And he helps get it done. And I think shoring up that area of the defense is a big reason why we were able to get this done this year. The Arizona Cardinals are champions again. Who do you think the MVP is going to be? We had a lot of players step up. There wasn't one player that was just far and away the best. I could see it being Bosa's pick six, though, getting it done. 
I don't know who it is. I'm going to predict that it is J-Dub. It's Bosa, though. Okay. One tackle, one sack, one pick, one touchdown. Joey Bosa, Super Bowl MVP. Arizona gets it done. Hope that was worth the wait, everybody. I sure enjoyed it. And there we go. Hoisting the Lombardi Trophy, our second of the series. But I still plan to chase more. I want to see what else is to come with the Arizona Cardinals. Let me know if you do as well. That was quite the game. That was one of the best Super Bowls that I've had on this channel. It was a tight game. A lot of stuff that you just never see. A lot of once-in-a-while plays, like that pick six from Bosa. That was really fun. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below. What did you think of this season? And what are you looking forward to regarding the future of this series? Okay, it's not yet in the background, but our first Lombardi is going to get a new friend here pretty soon. Super Bowl 63. Cardinals get it done, and now we look ahead to the future of this team. Can we keep it together? We are set to lose a lot of players to free agency this year, and we could have a very different looking team. Next episode is the offseason. And you can leave any feedback you have down below on what we should be attempting to do. Here are our career stats, though, as we wrap everything up today. J-Dub, very successful start to his career now, five seasons in. And this year, finally got over that playoff hump. He hadn't played well in the postseason prior. Now this time, he was a very, very different quarterback. On the ground, Jason Lemon continues to be one of our best playmakers. He's certainly come on strong in the last couple of years of his career. And then that receiver, a lot of playmakers there led by Walker Onobon and Bradley Young. We could be looking at a lot of change though regarding the defense next year. I've already talked about possibly trading Bosa before obviously the playoffs got going and everything, but we could save money and keep a lot of our team intact by doing that, potentially. So I have some tough decisions next episode. So for owner Nate Bell, that is two Super Bowls, two NFC Championships, and hopefully more to come. Thank you all for watching. Please leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And while we just won the Super Bowl, we're always looking ahead. And we'll see next episode what the offseason brings our way. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon.